More items made in China are finding their way onto the battlefields in Ukraine despite sanctions imposed by the U.S. and our allies. A new story in Political looks at how these dual-use products, including commercial drones and ceramic for body armor, are ending up in the hands of Russians. The State Department says Secretary of State Antony Blinken raised this issue with China's president during his trip to Beijing in June. On the private sector side, it was an issue where we had also where we also had serious concerns. We had seen companies providing assistance to Russia in the past and had sanctioned those companies, and that we would continue to monitor it closely uh, and and take actions against private Chinese companies when we saw such sanctionable activity. Now, joining us now is David Rank. He spent 27 years as a foreign service officer with the State Department and served as the acting ambassador to China before stepping down in June of 2017. Dave, I have to believe that nothing about this uh, surprises you that we're finding uh, different parts on the battlefield uh, from places that they should not be. Well, it depends who you ask, right? I mean, the Chinese uh, people selling them are happy to sell them. Uh, I mean, first of all, China manufactures, they are the world's uh, manufacturers. So uh, it's not a surprise from that perspective that they're showing up there. And look, China just has a very different view of Russia and Ukraine than we do. Uh, and I think uh, a lot of Chinese exporters at the, the private company level will sell whatever they can. And Beijing, the Chinese government, uh, what, what checks Beijing's hand is the reaction the United States or the Europeans might have. And uh, Ambassador Dave, I guess that's one of the questions I wanted to ask you as well, is because I heard one analyst say that it's not even so much about uh, helping Russia so much as sticking it to the U.S. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of love between the Russians and the Chinese. Uh, what they share is a mutual disdain for the United States. And so that's what really brought them together uh, back before the war started. And that's what's keeping them together.